This is where the main board is fixed into place, and here's where the power supply unit clips in. It's pressed up against the side by this screw here, which secures it firmly. Now, where do the cables go? That's down here underneath. Let's hide this lovely cover here for a moment, and the little plate too. And then you'll see. This is where the cables from the cable management would go. Only the ones you really need, like the mainboard cables, would be routed around the front here, then pass through the back so you can plug them straight into the mainboard again. And just like that, you're done. I won't actually show the case assembly itself, because honestly, it's completely self-explanatory. You've got a 38-page manual that goes through every single step in detail. On top of that, there's even a video guide from the manufacturer, which I'll of course link in the video description. You can watch that as well. And if after all that you still don't get it, well, sorry, at some point there's just no helping you. So what can I tweak here, for example? Or what are my planned modifications? I'd quite like to see if I can extend this thing forward a bit. I'll just do it really roughly now, just as an example, so I can fit more drives in here. Because at some point, eight drives just aren't enough. And to do that, you obviously have to modify the whole thing a little. I've always wanted to get into 3D printing and custom server enclosures, so this was just perfect for me. It means I don't have to do everything manually, and I even got the initial measurements for free. I've got the HDD specs in here, for both 3.5 and 2.5 drives. And yeah, that's why I was really excited to give this whole thing a try.